Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the Senior Living Headquarters. So today we are going to be talking about this lovely device. So, let's start with the scenario quick. Okay, so you live in Rochester, New York. You want to go to Hawaii because for whatever reason you and your husband love going to Hawaii all of the time. And you need a little helping walking you, aid. Yes, can you tell who I'm basing this off of? Probably. Yes, Because I it's do. your parents. So... Say you need a walking aid. So if we were to go all the way from Rochester, New York to Hawaii, some state in Hawaii or some city, um, is that possible? Can you actually do that? Can you bring a cane on a plane? Well, you answer. Because <laughs> with actually, all the wait, TSA yes. regulations and with uh, 9-11, you don't know nowadays. You don't know what's going on. You can't even bring a bottle of water full can, of fluid. Can they x-ray this? I don't know. I, that's but a good will, idea. Yes. We will find out in the log I, we wrote. Yes, because if you just take this rubber end off, which I'm assuming you can, you could. You, that would be a way to sneak drugs in. Correct. Correct. Or, what, or something harmful. Yes, but I don't know if you could fit a gun into there. No, but you can fit chemicals in there. That's true. So, I've seen a guy put a make a bomb out of and put it in the bottom of a sneaker. Chemicals yeah, that's in the bottom true. Of a sneaker, I so, um, these are obviously important and not to joke to be joked about matters, but we're Abbies, so we do anyways. But um, obviously, this is an actual serious matter. Um, if you are flying so well, and you are in some way disabled and cannot. Um, Function without a cane, you need it for balancing purposes or just function in your uh, human body. Just for a uh, walking aid? Yes, walking aid. Can you bring it on a plane? And the fact is actually, yes, you can because... Uh, read the blog. All right, hold this. You can, and there are some TSA uh, restrictions, but they don't necessarily uh, pertain to a cane. Because, all right, ready for this? So, there, okay, so, short answer, yes, you can, but with some exceptions. Some of those exceptions of when you cannot bring a, a cane on a plane is if the cane does not fit into the overhead bin or beneath the seat. Okay, so, so beneath the seat, you know, being this size, it's not going to fit beneath the seat. But most canes are actually shown. It's adjustable. It is adjustable. So you may be ha be able to okay. make it smaller. That might be able to fit the, under your seat. It probably will. With, and your feet might be on it, but that's okay. But this will definitely fit in the yes. overhead. But what if your cane isn't adjustable like this one? Yeah. Then, do they make fixed canes? Oh, they do. Like, if you have a wooden one? Yes. Yeah. So if you had, like, a wooden one or a walking stick... You wouldn't be able to put that in the uh, overhead compartment because it's too long. So that, in some cases, you may get yelled at by TSA. But in this case, um, in my opinion, I'm sure yours too, I would just invest a little bit more money into a, um, an adjustable, adjustable cane yes. if you plan on traveling. Um, if you're a homebody, I guess it's kind of up to you. But in any case, even this would be more convenient to have in your car than a six or a five foot foot uh, piece of wood. Yes, I mean this thing is this does does the job, and you can adjust to just about any height. Yeah, but even say you know they don't yell at you for that. But if the cabin space is limited, like if you know everybody's maxing out their you know as many baggage uh, items as they can have, if everybody's doing that and the cabin space is limited, then in that case they may give you a little bit of trouble. But for the most part, uh, you are safe to bring canes on a plane. Okay, so I'm going to ask you what you meant by writing this. Uh, the cane is not required during the flight. Well, that means that you don't need to use the cane during the flight. So if they do have to move it to a different overhead area that's away from you, or put oh, it I up yeah. uh, where the stewards are, uh, because you don't need it then. They're, they're just going to store it. And uh, that's fine because you don't need it unless you have to go to the bathroom and then you can have the stewardess give it back to you. But um, in flight, you usually don't need it. You're just sitting down, just waiting for the plane to land. And then this, okay? If you do this, by the way, 
you don't deserve to have the cane in the first place. Okay, so let's say there's an island between us. I'm doing this. Yeah, you don't if, want to block the aisle. If, if the cane that. is blocking the aisle, which, by the way, again, if you're doing that, you don't deserve to have the cane in the first place. Stay in bed all day because you're just inconsiderate. Um, if the cane is blocking the aisle, they're obviously going to give you, they're going to talk to you about it because that's not allowed. Okay, and then um, if the cane proposes, or if the cane poses a, uh, a risk to the airline crew and or other passengers. Yeah, if you decide to pick it up and start swinging at people, yeah, you're going to have a problem with that. So, um, those are kind of like the... Don't use a cane as a baseball yes. bat. Yes, those are kind of like the do's and don'ts of um, bringing a cane on a plane. But if you do this, if you just um, if you have an adjust it cane, to the smallest length, you'll be there, fine. And then uh, Put it shove it under your chair. seat. And then just don't touch it. You're not walking anywhere unless to the bathroom. In that case, maybe use it. But don't touch it otherwise because, you know, if you're using it as a baseball bat or you're blocking the aisle. Hey, you're going to have a problem. So... That's pretty much all we have. So right? yes, canes can be brought on planes. And if you like this video, hit yes, subscribe to it. Hit yes. Hit yes. Hit like, subscribe to it. And uh, check out our other videos. we got a ton of other retirement community videos and all kinds of senior advice videos. And I have thoroughly enjoyed using this cane as a prop, by the way. I'm just saying. We should start using more props now. I think and so. Maybe we will. For the record, if you have stayed this long and if it isn't already obvious yes these are all recorded in the same night i'm wearing the same clothes as is my host co-host here steve <laughs> so thank you guys very much for watching if you want more information on the topic and just any of the topics that we talked about like what is a uh, retirement community as some may not know or um, where's the closest casinos in, to the villages in florida or what to look for. You know you want to move, but you can't figure out where to freaking start. Um, our blog is a good place to start. And uh, everything will be linked in the description. Um, it should be shown right here, but it isn't. SeniorLivingHeadquarters.com Thank you guys very much for tuning into this video, and we will see you guys next time. See you later.